What's going on people? It's Shan. Alright, let's jump right into it. Nintendo will be closing its Wii Shop channel 2019 or early 2019. I do believe it's actually going to be on the 30th, actually on the 31st of January of 2019. We had a good long run with that. I mean, I'm really surprised that, you know, it's actually was still up all this time. I, Nintendo, I'm not going to say this much, but I'm going to give you props on this one. You're talking about 13, and I know a lot of people probably aren't even close to be still playing the actual Wii. And they're probably still, there's probably still some though. And for it to be up and last this long, I have to give Nintendo big props for this on this one. Um, this is one of the major consoles that made me just look at Nintendo as being different. Not being screwy and trying to screw everybody up, but just being different. And, you know, my hat's off to you, Nintendo. So, yes, you have until then. They actually made a, a statement and gave a lot of actually notices to everybody um, a few days ago. So, on the 31st, January 2019, it's shutting down. And going in the lines of Nintendo, ever since they actually had their mini versions of the NES and now the SNES Classic, they come, someone else is going to go ahead and try it too. Commodore 64. Now, I know a lot of you all do not know anything about this Commodore 64. I remember playing on this game. Well, I remember playing on this actual computer. It was really basic, but at the time it was great. And there's going to be a mini version of this coming out in 2018. I'm actually looking forward to this. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it yet, but I definitely want to check it out. Uh, it's supposed to be for $70 and it's going to come with 64 pre-installed games. 64 games? Commodore 64? Hmm, I wonder where they got the idea from. And uh, some of these games are going to be like California games, which brings back many, many memories. Um, also, going to have Speedball 2 and Paradroid. So, yes, this is coming out, supposed to be in 2018, early 2018, for the mini version of the Commodore 64. They say they're going to have like a full-size version too. And, I again, I kind of want to get this because it brings back way too many memories for me. I think that's one of the main systems at the time that really got me into gaming on a computer. So, well, besides that, an IBM, um, what was that, PC Junior? Yes, I had one of those. So, <laughs> this actually brings a lot of actual memories back for me on this one, though. So, I'm glad to see someone else is going to bring back some of the old school stuff here. Now, we're going to go, we're going to flip the script. We're going to go right back to Nintendo. Um, now, I know a lot of you may know about Pegasus, but a new version... Pega Switch 3.0 was actually released recently, and this is a new exploit on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, it's an updated version on this here. And it's actually upgradable to firmware 3.0.0. Now, we talked about this firmware, people. If you are already updated past this, you know for the most part you're screwed for a while. All right? If you're below this, you may want to check this out. Now, I will go ahead and say this is for people who are just you know the most dedicated of hackers right now no one and like if you don't if you don't trust your skills don't no no don't do this i don't want to hear anyone complaining about oh i screwed up my switch no say i don't want to hear that <laughs> so again this is for the people who you know you got your experience you know what you're doing and you want to dive a little bit more deeper into what you can be able to do on the switch this is for you if you're one of the ones who kind of like pass off other people's work as your own this is not something you want to do, okay? Just don't do this, because you're going to screw crap up. Don't. Now, a lot of you all made me thinking, okay, how can I get 3.0.0 firmware on my Nintendo Switch? Well, I'll have them go online, because the fact is, I'm probably going to get one later on, and you will. So, one of the games you can actually get that's going to come with firmware point, uh, 3.0, Pokemon DX. This is the game you want to get. You get this game, you can have 3.0 firmware on your Nintendo Switch. And then you can be able to be safely upgraded far enough to where you can still do exploits. But at the same time, you can enjoy actually the updated features and fixes and stuff like that. Now, we're going to we're gonna actually jump from Nintendo. I think I did a lot of Nintendo stuff for a today. We're going to jump to Nintendo down to the PlayStation 4. All right. PlayStation 4, we got actually Native Homebrew. Um, now, I'm going to say this guy's name because I'm going to say the way I like to say it. But he goes by PXX Dev on Twitter. But on Twitter, his name is Big Balls. I try to say it that way. Um, he actually had a video showcasing um, doing an actual native homebrew 
on the PS4. And it has the 2D library release. It's the minimal stuff that you need for it. So if you want to go ahead and try this out on your PlayStation 4, go right ahead. It should be fun. Again, I like the homebrew to get new ideas. We get some new stuff. I remember doing this back on the PlayStation days and just making up programs and demos and stuff like that. I literally love doing that all day long. Um, so if you want to check this out, I will put his Twitter in the actual description below as you know that I do. And you know what? That's all I got for y'all today. This is Shin. I'm out.